Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent and we kick off with something very, very, very interesting and I, a huge shout out and a thank you to uh, Lavina who published an article on AMB Crypto referencing the Crypto Serpent. So really, really cool and, and thank you to the um, one of the fans on TikTok that, that pointed this out. But we can see here saying, you know, um, a popular analyst who, um, by the name of Crypto Serpent in his recent YouTube video asserted. So thanks so much for that. I mean, it's super cool to, to see news articles referencing the serpent and, and you know, mentioning it and, you know, what, where we're going and, and what we're up to and, and where it's heading. And, and, and that is just the, it made my weekend, put it that way. It's super cool to see um, the, the Crypto Serpent being recognized on a news article, but that's not what you're here for. You're here to know what's going on out there in the XRP world. Well, a reversal is happening, and I, um, I think, you know, while, the, while we play the patient game, and I know you guys in the comments are saying it time and time again, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Look, nothing is going to happen this weekend. There's nothing to, there's no price action for you to act on. And we'll, we'll go over that and what it means. But, you know, we are definitely playing a patient game. Now, I think what we need to remind ourselves during times of when things, uh, well, pretty much nothing's happening at the moment, right? So we need to remind ourselves what the mission is. And so Ripple is working on a replacement for Swift to get all of the payment providers onto one uh, one on-demand liquidity provider, which will be the XRP ledger. So don't forget that during times when nothing's happening, right? Because it's quite you can quite easily you can quite easily forget. Now, from a, a resistance point of view, from a levels point of view, from everything that's happening around the XRP price action at the moment, everything is on track. Like there's nothing to nothing to be worried about. If you're liquid, buy some more. If you are holding, simply hold. There's no no major price action movement happening but i will go over what happens if bitcoin goes bullish and i will go over what happens if bitcoin goes bearish for a little bit and how that will impact the price so i'll explain that in a little bit as well how that happens and what that does novati taps odl to improve australian remittance payments to southeast asia so um i want to remind you as well that you know more and more companies are choosing the ripple net solution to get faster cheaper and overall, just better customer experience for a, for consumers, right? And Novati is an uh, um is an Australian an Australian brand. Um, I've got another Australian news that, that's come out of Ripple as well that I will be sharing with you. So remind remember, you know, like do the research, understand, you know, what kind of problem Ripple is solving, and remember that the game changing is the bridge asset. Um, that that is the 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 biggest factor that will drive the XRP price is the uh, on-demand liquidity is being the bridge currency for all currencies and it is a huge problem that it solves and so it takes time it does take time and it will be misunderstood and it will not make sense to a lot of people now ripple lawyer said a couple of days ago that the sec side uh, citing irrelevant evidence in xrp lawsuit so this is just again yeah you know sec is just trying to um, I don't know, they're just trying to make noise, you know, because they got nothing. So they're just going to talk about different things and try and use different uh, angles to try and, and be relevant. And they're not relevant at all. And so, um, you know, the lawyer has just squashed, you know, what they're saying. Um, and the lawyer also know that the SEC had previously referred to Bitcoin and Ethereum as currencies. So why isn't XRP a currency? And we're not talking about Ripple as a company, we're talking about XRP. XRP uh, as a security is what SEC is saying. Yet, no one else is being challenged. It's just, it's just Ripple. No one else is being challenged and called a security. And Ethereum and Bitcoin have been called currencies in the past. So why Ripple? And why so long? Now, Virgin Money Australia is now live on the integrated Temos Banking Cloud. And Temos Banking Cloud uses Ripple. So really cool news um, and great to see two, two Australian um, newsers, you know, to, to come out. And I think that's really, really cool. And again, it's all about um, full integration with the Ripple protocol, uh, the Temos core banking software using, um, you know, the, the Ripple, uh, the Ripple net um, system. So once again, more and more and more companies and technologies coming through um, and uh, more alliances, which is great. Now, this is what's going to set XRP on fire. 
and the ripple price and the xrp price tag is literally going to skyrocket so flare is combining the best of xrp the very fast settlement like ethereum's style smart contracts and an avalanche of consensus which helps extend the xrp's utility and allows developers to create smart contracts for new use cases like lending and DeFi, this the flare launch will be the catalyst for the ripple price exploding in the marketplace i'm so excited for flare launching it's been a long time in the making and we are literally weeks away from this kicking off when this kicks off it is going to be a monstrous momentum for xrp and just as that um, news comes out, I want to tell you about this. So Ripple proposes massive XRP ledger upgrade to support DeFi and smart contract capabilities. So with this in mind, the, the marketplace and the problems that the Ripple, uh, the Ripple XRP uh, ledger will solve will be enormous. But when you then add the DeFi and smart contract capabilities with the speed and price tags and transaction fees of Ripple, it really is going to take, as a lot of YouTubers say, they're coming for all the money. They're not coming for a little bit of the market. They, they want the whole market. You know, between Flare and XRP, it's um, you know, it could potentially even take over the um, the forex market. You know, like it, it solves just such a humongous, humongous problem, um, and there is no competitor that will be able to compete at this level. So it's really, really, really exciting. Now, if this was 2017, the next couple of days would look like this. And then we would skyrocket and go off. Now, it is following it pretty good. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty... I mean, right now, I mean, if you look over here, like, I mean, that, that is, um, you know, it's pretty scary how, how close it is. So... Are we gonna see this happen? We will wait and see. What I do know is that over the next couple of days, you probably are gonna see a window like this, right? We're not really going to see too much action. Let's jump into Atani. Let's see what the indicators are telling us. All right, so we're inside Atani, and in uh, this was on a five minute chart. Let's get the one hour chart up, and let's go with some indicators. By the way, there is a YouTube video on how to do all this and how to get all this. Now, I did mention in yesterday's video that probably going around the 77 cents mark makes sense at the moment with just the way that the, seg uh, the, um, the indicators are and, and the way that the hourlies and the four hours are. Uh, I think that that could happen. That can definitely, uh, definitely, definitely occur. Now, if we jump on the 12 hour, we can see that we, I think we have moved into a bearish um, a bearish movement slightly, but again, not a lot of volume going on at the moment. There's really not that much happening right now from a, from a price point of view. We did come out of the Bollinger and now we're back inside the Bollinger, but I think it is a, um, a bearish se uh, segment at the moment. And I think, you know, over the, over the course of the weekend, I think we can see the prices go down before we begin to go up. On the four hour, we are just about to step out of the Bollinger. So, yeah, I think at the moment, based on a couple of indicators, a couple of the hourlies, that, yeah, we could, be, we could be heading down. But let's look at some drawings of what they tell us. Okay, so I want to kick off with this because this is very, very important. So, a bearish Bitcoin will probably see us go towards 64 cents. A bullish Bitcoin will probably see us go uh, into the dollar sixty-five over the next couple of days. So, keep that in mind. We go bullish on Bitcoin over the next couple of days. You can see a price tag of 165. If we go bearish, you can see a price tag of 64 cents. Great opportunity either way, you know, to, to get in. So again, if you're holding, just simply hold, nothing to do there. But if you're liquid and you're looking to get in, keep an eye out whether Bitcoin's bearish or bullish. And then this is a very simple way of uh, determining what you do next and what your, what your next moves are. Um, so that that's probably within you know the next couple of days. Now moving forward, as we look towards uh, uh, where we're going right now and where we are heading, uh, I I think that you know the price actions that we 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 are about to see and we're about to um, move forward is going to be very very bullish. But again, we need a little bit of patience at the moment before we really kick off. Now I see this kind of movement happening. So I definitely see the $5.50 being hit um, at the very least in, within the next couple of, um, within the next four weeks, we can see a price tag of $5.50 for, for XRP. And then as we move forward into the tens and um, tens and beyond, 
like that that will come but we're just going to be again wait and wait and see just how ferocious the movement of xrp is um especially once flare launches and then we will we will have a good indication however long term as we as we move forward as flare network kicks in as everything moves into a massive massive momentum if we draw a chart all the way from 2014 then 2018 what occurred and what could happen in 2021 and 2022 that I mean this would be an astronomical win especially if i know some of you have been in xrp since 30 cents i mean to to one day see a 240 dollar xrp would just be absolutely insane and the lesson here is to hold and be patient and know what you have. I, I've said it time and time again, I'm not financial advice, it's not financial advice. But what I don't want is I don't want you to become another one of those stories that have $3.30 or $5 you sold only to see a year later um, the price tag be $240. So keep that in mind that the Flare Network launching is going to catapult XRP to heights that you've never, ever, ever seen before. And of course, we got to walk before we run. And I'm not saying, I'm not doubting that. But big picture. This is probably the big message from today. Think big picture. Don't get left behind. Don't, you know, don't have 10x gains. Uh, uh, cloud your judgment on what is to come. Because what is to come is going to be phenomenal. And I'll be bringing to you everything there is to know about the flare and how it's all going to integrate. If you did learn something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you. And I look forward to see you on the next one.